So one of the hidden uses for residential properties for water use is not the landscape, it's not inside the house, it's actually the swimming pool. We've done a lot of research over the years and what we found is that a typical swimming pool in our valley can use between 15 to 20 to 25,000 gallons of water lost through evaporation every year. And if you look at all of the swimming pools in our entire valley, that accounts to over 2 billion gallons of water that's lost each year. So one of the first things and most important things you can do for your swimming pool to help you kind of fight the evaporation throughout the year is a swimming pool cover. If you use this just typical use, which means maybe you're using it 20, 30% of the time of the year, in a research study we did, we showed that we could save anywhere from eight to 10,000 gallons of water a year. If you use it more, like half the time, you could see savings of where you're almost cutting your evaporation in half. Another big source of water loss in a swimming pool is through leaks. But leaks are sometimes kind of hard to find, obviously under the pool and in the water. But one of the cool tools that you can use is your autofill. And in something like this, if it's constantly running and you hear a sound like that, that could indicate that maybe something is going on with your pool where you're losing a lot of water. This kind of works like a toilet float in that it kind of comes up and then when it hits a certain level, it should shut off. But if it doesn't shut off and it's constantly running, then you may have a leak. So when identifying a leak on a swimming pool, there's a couple of tools that you can use. One of them is something you can do yourself and then you can also bring in a professional. For yourself, you can do something that's called a bucket test. And what a bucket test is, is just that. You find a bucket, you put a brick in it, something that's heavy that you can actually put in the pool. You fill the water to the same level as the pool water, and then you just monitor it for a few days. If you notice that the pool water has actually gone down faster than what's inside the bucket, that may be an indicator that you have a leak inside your pool. But periodically, you have to drain the pool water and because that's chemicals and you just have to have fresh water put into it. When you do that, you wanna make sure and drain the water in the sewer port in the front of your house. Sometimes it's not completely obvious where that port is. Um, sometimes it's buried in landscaping or what have you, but you wanna make sure you find it either on your property or a neighbor's property. Maybe you can talk to them about using theirs. But what you don't wanna do is drain the water in the street. You can actually incur a water waste fine if you do that. What we wanna do is capture that water and basically put it into our system. So if you run that into our sewer port, we recapture the water, we treat it, then it goes back into Lake Mead and it's water that can be used again. So the last thing is, if you are finished with your pool, you don't use it anymore, and it's kind of something that you want to get rid of, there is a process through one of our existing programs, our Water Smart Landscapes Rebate Program, which is our turf conversion program. If you want to fill in a pool, we can actually help rebate for that process. Um, we pay by the square footage of the top of the pool, so the surface area, and so it's $3 per square foot. We still have the same requirements under our turf conversion program where we require plants and irrigation, but it's still an option. If you're kind of done with the pool, you don't want to take care of it anymore and you don't want to lose all that water. So visit snwa.com to find more information about the Water Smart Landscape Rebate Program. And again, if you want to fill in the pool, it'll qualify under that program.